did five years ago you challenged Leo McCarthy for the speakership. Did you anticipate five years ago that there might be a chance at the end of this decade that you would be on the ascension again and possibly looking forward to being the speaker yourself? Well, Sally Stanford, uh, who formerly lived in San Francisco and is now lives in Sausalito, told me about 20, 25 years ago, and she's a very good friend, that if you sit next to the crack of the door long enough, you'll always watch your enemies being carted off to the cemetery. And I've been sitting by that door, keeping in mind what Sally said. And no, five years ago, I could not have envisioned uh, uh, what is occurring today, occurring. Uh, but keeping in mind what Sally said, uh, you, I, one of the persons who did me in five years ago is going to be en route uh, to the political cemetery after this uh, struggle is over between the two of them. I am, of course, trying to assist uh, Speaker McCarthy. And so my preference, obviously, would be that uh, Berman's political career would be somewhat jeopardized by virtue of this. McCarthy's, it could very well be a fatal blow uh, to Speaker McCarthy's career. He has ambition for 1982, and certainly if he can't hold the thing together, uh, there'll be serious questions about whether or not he could do anything in 1982. So I think of the two, uh, McCarthy stands to run the risk of losing the most. Uh, I, frankly, did not know that by 1980, Willie Brown's uh, political fortunes would be uh, still uh, fairly decent and in some cases and prospectively on the rise. No, I did not know that. But I knew if I stuck around long enough with the kinds of things that I'm about and with the crop of elected types that we have, um, it would just be a matter of time before uh, my uh, abilities were given an opportunity to be exposed and maybe favorably accepted. I've modified myself a lot. Uh, I think in growing older, I'm probably a little less abrasive. I think I'm still as uh, uh, quick as I have always been, but I think I'm a little more sensitive to how other people may be offended by virtue of those comments. So I taper my comments. They're just as caustic, but they're a bit more entertaining. <laughs>